I've got Phil Rickman, the uh, well-known author, and uh, he's particularly known around here for the uh, Magus of Hay. <laughs> um, Magus and, with a hard G, actually. Magus, Magus, Magus oh, with a hard thank G. Thank you. Okay, I'll Not start. many people know that, <laughs> and I may be wrong. Anyway, uh, perhaps you'd like to begin by sort of telling us uh, about the inspiration for the Magus of Hay. Uh, well, it's the 12th book in the, uh, in the Merrily Watkins series. Merrily Watkins is the deliverance consultant or diocesan exorcist for Hereford. And of course there is one, there's one for every diocese in the country. Um, but this is the first book, uh, this actually goes outside, just outside the Diocese of Hay, it, the Diocese of Hereford, in, in, into Hay, which is a town that I've known for a long time. Um, from back when I was a reporter with BBC Wales, I used to do lots of stories there, and uh, I've done endless interviews with Richard Boo, the King of Hay, and sooner or later I knew I was always going to write a book which would involve the book town of Hay and how all that started, and how Richard Boo became the king, and what kind of impact this might have. Um, all, all the books, they're basically crime novels, so there has to be a murder. In this case, there's a body found um, in the Dulas Brook at uh, Cusop, which is just outside the town, and which is, of course, in Herefordshire. Um, there's a, a waterfall in Cusop, um, below which there's a, a deep pool in which, um, in which someone died some years ago. So it, it has got form. Um, another body is found in this pool, and it links to... Um, Elements of um, the occult, if you like, which were linked to the formation of, Her of, of Hay as, as a book town. So I'm not going to say too much about that because I don't want to give away the entire plot. <laughs> but, but a lot of it involves how Hay became a book town and the history of Richard Booth, um, who is still the King of Hay and is, is an old friend of mine. Now your accent obviously isn't the one that's local to here, where are you from? It's not local, I'm from Lancashire, <laughs> yeah. uh, but I've actually lived most of my life around here. Oh. So um, I actually, actually know more about this area now than, than I knew about, I knew about um, Lancashire before I left, I'm afraid. Yeah. Um, uh, your dog seems to be trying to get in on the act He does, there. he does, <laughs> that's his job. <laughs> well thank you Phil for taking the time out to come here and support the library and as well as I, I always like to support yourself. libraries because you know we, we need libraries and because Hereford's libraries are seriously in danger while the council spends its money on rather um, less essential things but I won't go into that <laughs> thank you <laughs> <laughs>